Here we have a very nice looking 2012 Range Rover Vogue SD4 in silver. As you'll see throughout the vehicle, the car is in a lovely condition and has lots of spec on the car as well. Let's take a look at the offside front tyre first. Tread wise, looking at a good 5 to 6 millimeters there. Looking at the offside front alloy, unfortunately, I've got some curbing around the outside edge of the alloy. So, definitely going to require a refurb there. Taking a look down the offside of the bodywork, can't spot any dinks or dents at all to the offside of the car there. Looking around the offside front arch, one or two light uh, scratches just require polish. As you can see, up the gloss black side trim there, mirrors and uh, the sort of bonnet vents as well really finishes the car off nicely looking at the driver's door we have got some light scratches going down the door itself there again just requires a bit of polish a bit of touchings there as well a little bit of chip in the paintwork door edge one or two very minor nicks just require some paint as well there's no dents or dinks at all to the roof as you can see you've got um, rear privacy glass there I'm even towards the rear arch, again just one or two light little scratches, the mud guards on the back and the rear tyre easily a good 5 to 6 millimetres there as well. Looking at the offside of the rear alloy, bit of a minor curve on the outside edge there. Rest of the alloy there is in a lovely condition, so just one minor curve. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. Taking a look at the back, as you can see at the sort of gloss black spoiler extension. Um, again, lovely condition around the back. You've got a reversing camera, uh, parking sensors. Um, just on the, uh, the plastic here, you can see there is a bit of a scuff to the plastic trim there. A couple of light scratches around the back of the tailgate here definitely require polish. Again, we've got some light scratches to the plastics there as well. No signs of any damage. A bit of a uh, touching required on the boot itself there. Again, all very minor. Take a look inside the boot itself, you've got your parcel shelf there, lovely clean condition. And as you can see there doesn't appear to be any spare wheel with uh, the vehicle. All in good order, moving around to the near side rear tyre. Once again, easily good 5mm of tread there. Near side rear alloy, unfortunately some very heavy curbing there. Again some curb marks towards the bottom and some scuffs there as well, so again going to require a refurb. Looking down the near side of the bodywork, once again I cannot spot any dinks or dents. Again the paintwork looks very clean, very tidy, just a couple of tar marks etc to the door edges etc. But they're very clean, no chips, and again does look very well. Mirror is in good condition, and the front arch again very clean. Good 5-6mm to six mil on all the tyres as well, so all four tyres are spot on. And the near side front alloy, some curbing or some scuff marks at the top there. A couple of light scuffs, not bad condition. Uh, no real sign of any curb, I mean, actually it's more of a scuff. Moving towards the front end of the vehicle, you've got front parking sensors, the daytime and xenon uh, headlights there. A couple of stone chips around the front, no signs of any damage at all, so just a couple of touchings, and again just a couple of touchings to the bonnet of the vehicle. Taking a look at the interior. As we can see inside, you've got the lovely sort of... Uh, Bucket seats, the full black leather with the white stitching, great condition, slight bit of wear in there to the bolster, electric memory seats as we can see there, and again the front passenger seats also in a lovely condition, really do like the seats, and again looking at the back, lovely condition, the car looks brand new inside, the leather is absolutely immaculate, so all in good order there, you've got the black uh, headlining as well, and again the dashboard etc, all the soft touch leather, Lovely materials used, all in good condition. Looks very tidy inside. Um, automatic wipers and lights, etc. And stepping inside the vehicle, we do have two sets of keys, but again, it is a push start. And if we just get the vehicle started, as we can see there, we're looking at 36,706 miles on the clock. Starting the vehicle, there's no issues at all. No symbols appearing on the dash there either. Everything's running perfectly fine. Like I said, you've got the auto wipers and lights, you've got the paddle shift here, lovely condition to the steering wheel, uh, lovely touchscreen medium system here, so you've got your audio and your video. As you can see, no issue at all there. Just getting the nav loaded up, as we can see. No issues at all functioning the nav. Heated seats again, All everything is in good working order, no problems with the blowers. You've got your air conditioning there as well, so all in good working order. Also box of course, and taking a look at the documents, looking at the V5 for the vehicle, the car has had 
two owners from new, so two owners in total. MOT certificate here, March 2nd, 2016, so plenty left on the MOT. It has got a year's MOT and a full franchise service history. As you can see, your first one at 6753. 15,776 and your last one I believe at 33,000 miles so mileage wise not that long ago it was serviced which is spot on. But there we go guys this is the very nice looking 2012 Range Rover Evoque is the SD4 lots of features leather nav reversing camera heated seats etc and the car is in a lovely condition as well.